Charlotte? You called for a John, right? Russell? Yeah, going to Atwater Village. Do you think you could wait for me outside at my next destination? I'll come right back out. We are talking Night Drive. This one is directed by the duo of Brad Burra and Megan Leon. It stars AJ Bowen as Russell and Sophie Dala as Charlotte. Now this is essentially a story about a rideshare driver, an Uber style kind of driver, who picks up this woman and ends up going on a somewhat expected adventure, series of events that are progressively more violent. Now we've seen similar setups in movies like Collateral or One Night in Bangkok and even some low budget ones like Driven. So this one tries to add a little bit of something different by another kind of genre, which I won't reveal for you for fear of, fear of spoilers, but it has a element to it that is introduced kind of in the kind of uh, towards the sort of third act that it's kind of changes the kind of the, uh, the genre of the movie somewhat is all I'll say. Um, so that's your kind of your basic kind of plot premise. Let's talk about what I think works first of all. The main one for me is um, AJ Bowen's Russell. His character, I think, is so charming and so likeable, you can't help but kind of really buy into his character. The tone of the movie is somewhat comedic, and Bowen's kind of uh, bewildered performance, I think, really does elevate this material into making him such a likeable character, and therefore the movie engaging, because we really do kind of buy into his sort of every man who is trying to kind of do the best as he can as a kind of almost like a quippy comeback for pretty much any kind of situation. Absolutely, uh, you know, adored his character. And I thought he was, you know, just really kind of made this film. And as the movie progresses, uh, it, it kind of follows similar path to the um, the movies that I've mentioned before. You know, it's, it, it gets you know, a little bit of action in there, a little bit of kind of danger, a little bit of thriller. Uh, and then it kind of really changes gears into kind of a, a something else. And it, 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 it came out of left field, to be honest with you. It's not something that you can really kind of see coming. But I kind of quite liked it. And it kind of adds an extra kind of element to it that kind of, uh, you know, you know, gives you questions, really. And kind of makes you wonder about this movie and what else could have been done. Where else could it go? Where, where else could it follow it? Things like that. It makes you think about the movie afterwards, which is always a kind of a good thing. The movie is well paced and I also think it's, you know, it's professionally uh, directed and shot here. Um, you know, it, it has a good kind of, it's not an overly long film, so it's quite kind of punchy. And we have some kind of great kind of dialogue scenes between our kind of our, our kind of our main characters here. What doesn't work for me, uh, the, the main problems for me, I would say, come from the script level. Because there are some issues here, I would say, that, that, that are to do with character motivations. Now again, I'm going to, this is going to be spoiler free, so this is going to seem somewhat vague. But as the movie progresses, things happen within this movie and characters act in a certain way. And it just doesn't seem feasible. Let me just put it like this. Um, now, you can kind of get away with it if your movie is kind of like a comedy to a, to a degree. Uh, not kind of serious. And there is a comedic tone in this movie. But the kind of the... The movie is, it doesn't play itself like a straight comedy. It's kind of like a, a thriller with some comedic elements. But there's some choices here that the characters, um, either things that they either do, do or don't do, that just seem quite ridiculous to me and quite kind of like illogical. And to add to that, there's a, there's a kind of, as we get towards the end of the movie, a choice is made by the character and then the subsequent... Um, remaining kind of like a uh, bit of film after that seems seems to come out of nowhere to be honest with you and it, 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 again it seems uh like character motivations don't really fit what we're kind of seeing on screen to a certain degree so it gives us kind of our characters even though they're very likable a somewhat kind of like false facade if that makes sense they don't really kind of seem like real people and therefore as much as goodwill as you have because of the fun performance, I don't think you can fully kind of buy into them as characters. I also have to say, and again, this is going to sound very vague, the ultimate 
aim of the movie of a certain characters. It doesn't really seem to kind of like uh, it, it give you a good enough explanation about maybe why certain characters are doing certain things. Again, I the problem with this film to review it is it's a kind of like uh, the crux of the movie is is kind of like revealed towards the end, so I can't really say too much. But ultimately, um, when you watch the movie, I suppose think about why a character is even doing certain things. It, to me, this, 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 the problem here is that the, that the way the characters are written, they're performed well, but they're written to be quite kind of like very vague and kind of unrealistic characters, which just kind of takes you away from it. And I think it detracts from the kind of the cleverness of the, um, uh, you know, of the kind of the, uh, the movie. The only other thing I would say is uh, it, there is a little bit of uh, times where you, you you kind of want to see things other than the inside of a car. Lots of this movie is primarily inside of a car. There are some external sequences here and there, but I, it gets a little bit visually kind of uninteresting at times. I would suggest, and you know, I, I, I've mentioned the movie called Driven, and that was kind of the same issue I had there. It's kind of like it ultimately becomes not visually particularly kind of interesting. Overall, though, I, I did enjoy this story, even though I couldn't quite buy into um, the kind of the characters' motivations or necessarily the situation that they find themselves in. But it still is a kind of a fun movie and has some an amusing lines and kind of likable characters and stuff like that. So I'll give this movie an above average score of a six. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.